Okay, this video is discussing combat. Now, combat takes place in the joint direct fire segment. Combat's per totally voluntary. Both sides can fight in this uh, segment because um, it, it, it can be simultaneous. It's usually simultaneous though, so they, they both fire at each other and even if one unit gets wiped out, it still gets a chance to fire back. Now the difference is you can have first fire opportunities. And when you've got a first fire opportunity, it means you can fire on the opponent and if you destroy them, you don't have a chance to fire back. Now fire, for first fire occurs uh, for all units on the western side of the anti-tank ditch fighting a unit across the anti-tank ditch hex side you also if you're in a town or if you're in a a fortification installation the installation itself doesn't get a first fire but the uh, any unit inside it does you also get a first fire if you are in a hex which is on a higher elevation than the one you're attacking Okay, other things to remember about this is you don't have to attack. You can only attack units in your zone of control. Neutralized units can't attack because they have no attack factor, even if they are themselves attacked. Units in a hex, you don't all have to attack the same target. You can split them. Uh, you can. Uh, the only thing you can't do is split the fire of an individual unit in a hex across multiple targets. When you're firing into a target hex, you can pick any combination of the units in there to attack. Don't forget that dismounted units they don't have their full attack or full defense capabilities another thing you can have to figure into this if you're dealing with anti-tank missiles like saggers and stuff they get a first fire against armor other things in here hqs are totally different from any other unit that um, they can only be neutralized they can't be destroyed also, once they're neutralized, they're still able to move, but they can only move if they're moving out of the zone of control of an enemy hex. Now, Arab units, hex, um, HQs that are forced to move out of a hex, they can move even though they don't have to expend operational points to do so. When an HQ is in a neutralized state, it's unable to uh, provide command support for any of the units under its command oddly enough an enemy unit can actually end up in the, in a hex with a neutralized hq now that hq has restrictions on it it can't it, can't, it also can't be used to do regrouping and refitting That pretty much covers combat, um, to be honest.